What is up ladies and gentlemen, today we're back with another A to Z of Ark and today we are taking a look at none other than the Hesperonis. Now these guys are super aggressive and uh, they don't deal a lot of damage on land but if you fight them in the water, they will wreck you. They will hurt you a lot. So in order to tame these, well first off these guys are found on every map bar Aberration so you'll be able to find them pretty much wherever you want to go except for Aberration. Um, these guys, they're, they're really, nobody really tames them. Like, nobody really tames them. They produce golden eggs and they produce their own sort of Hesperonis eggs. But uh, we'll go over that later. First, So first off, in order to feed them, you need to grab a fish and you need to drag it to the Hesperonis. We're going to take it to this one on land because it's going to be a lot easier to keep track of than the ones that are in the uh, water here. But you'll find them along any sort of body of water. They generally spawn more so in the... Uh, ice biome than the other biomes. Um, that's where I found them the most anyway. Um, oh, this is a 150. This is going to make things a lot of fun for us. So we're going to feed it the fish, if I can press the button. And you can see there, 0.9% taming. So uh, yeah, these guys do scale with having better fish. So obviously if you use like saber tooth salmon, you will get a lot more taming effectiveness. Um, but there's, there's really no point to, to, to taming these guys up. I promise you. I, I promise you. These guys aren't really all that effective at, uh, well, doing much, really. You can use them to obviously hunt for fish and stuff. But you've got, if you really want someone to hunt for fish, you can use like the, the, the seagull, the ichthyornis. I believe that's what it's called, if I didn't butcher it fittingly enough. Um, yeah. But to feed, to tame these guys, feed them fish. You just need to keep swimming up to them. There's a 30 second timer in between uh, each feeds. So you need to wait 30 seconds before you can actually feed these guys another fish. Um, but yeah, you can build a little one by one trap for them and trap them in that. But like, I wouldn't really recommend it because these guys aren't really going to be used for much. But uh, we're going to tame one of these guys up and we'll bring you guys back to show you what it can do. Okay, so once you've tamed up your own Hesperonis, it pretty much sits on you like a, any shoulder mount. I don't know how the hell it holds onto you uh, with this little tiny flipper things. It's uh, Yeah, we're not going to go over that. Uh, but nonetheless, you can pretty much get this guy to hunt fish for you. Now, it will also poop out golden eggs. Go get a Hesperonis. I don't know if they're actually going to dive down and, and kill the fish because... Yeah, here we go. So this is an insta-kill. If you use it to kill fish and it dives down, it will be an insta-kill. And it uh, pretty much killed a bunch of them. Where'd you go, little dude? Um, so yeah, so you can use it to kill fish and it will poop out eggs. Do you want to swim down, mate? Swim down and get it. There you go. Swim down. Now, I can only do one fish at a time, however. So, I mean, obviously, if there are more fish in the area, it will... Uh, it will... Oh, we're suffocating. It, uh, it'll keep diving down. You can see there it's eating the corpses and stuff like that. Uh, we'll get it to attack these fish, but yeah, if you use it on any fish in the wild and it does that diving attack, it will be an insta-kill. Regardless of what level it is. You can see there it does 100 million damage. Most OP dino in arc. Highest damage dealing dino in arc. It does gather the fish meat as well, and um, after killing five fish, it will poop out a golden egg. You would hope anyway, depending on whether or not it wants to, it wants to work today. So it will poop out a golden egg once it kills and eats five fish. Um, and with that golden egg, you can actually feed it to a small tame, so like a dillo, um, anything, you know, around that size, and it'll actually gain a rather large experience boost, which is uh, really effective. But other than that, if you use it on like a normal one, um, it will only get like a 10% XP boost. So for like large dinos like Rexes and stuff like that, 10% uh, XP boost. But on dillos and stuff like that, so like dillos, trudons, compies, it gets like a 500% XP boost for a certain amount of time, uh, which is actually pretty good. But you're not going to be using it for anything like crazy. Like what what reason do you have for, you know, giving a Dillo a 500% XP boost? Like, <laughs> come on, what are you going to do with that? Um, but you can also use these golden eggs for extraordinary kibble. Um, but once again, there are much easier ways to go about getting extraordinary kibble using... Low level UDs, you know, that's much easier. And like Deinonychus's, so much easier than using Hesperonis's golden eggs, trust me. Um, the main perk that these guys have for using them, for attacking them in the wild, is that they function pretty much the same as Kairuku's. They give a bunch of organic polymer when you kill them. So you can kill them in the wild and you can get a bunch of organic polymer off them. But that's pretty much it, guys. Like, 
you're not going to be using these guys for anything else. Um, you can use their normal eggs that they produce and put it in a cooking pot to produce oil. But once again, there's a much easier ways to go about getting oil. So you don't really want to use it for, uh, for anything like that. Yeah, you're mainly just going to harvest these guys for organic polymer. I mean, if they interest you, by all means, go ahead and waste the hour it's going to take trying to tame them up. Um, they've kind of got like cool little crest things. But other than that, these guys are pretty useless. Like... No one really uses Hesperonuses as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.